Moshe and Aaron tell Paro that an enormous amount of locusts will arrive and eat all the flora left in Egypt. Paro's slaves complain and then he calls Moshe and Aaron to come back and offers them that only the men will leave Egypt. The two insist that all of Am Yisrael will leave and Paro banishes them. Moshe lifts his hands and a strong wind blows all night and in the morning it brings a locust that devours everything in its way. Paro immediately summons Moshe and Aaron, apologize and pleads for Moshe to end the deadly plague. Moshe prays and a counter wind blows the locust away, but Hashem hardens Paro's heart and he refuses to let Am Yisrael go. Moshe raises his hand and a thick darkness falls upon Egypt, so thick that the Egyptians can't move for three days. Paro agrees that all of Am Yisrael will leave, except for the animals, but Moshe insists on the animals too. Paro's heart is hardened and he threatens Moshe that if he will come back to him, he'll die. Moshe tells him about the tenth plague, which is the death of the the firstborn, which will kill people and animals. Moshe orders Am Yisrael to knock on the Egyptians' doors and ask them to lend their gold and silver vessels. To Am Yisrael's surprise, the Egyptians agree. Hashem orders that the current month, Nisan, will be the first one in the Hebrew calendar and that on the tenth day of the month, each family will prepare a lamb in its first year and will save it until the fourteenth day and then slaughter it on the afternoon. Every family will take a plant called Ezov, will dip it in the lamb blood, and will smear it on the inner frame of the door. The lamb must be roasted as a whole and eaten on the night together with matzot and bitter leaves, and if there are leftovers, they must be burned. Am Yisrael must be dressed and wearing shoes, but must not leave the house. The sacrifice can be eaten only by someone who is circumcised, and it is forbidden to break bones in the sacrifice. In the middle of the night, many cries are heard in Egypt and every house is visited by death. Paro comes to Moshe and Aaron in the middle of the night and tells them to leave Egypt at once. Am Yisrael quickly packs and leaves, baking their dough very fast, even before it has a chance to live in. And they leave Ramses to Sukkot, joined by a mixture of people and slaves. Hashem orders that as a memorial to the plague of the firstborn, every firstborn will be holy to Hashem, also the firstborn of the pure animals, but even the firstborn of the donkey. Hashem orders that the story of the exit from Egypt and the firstborns will be written, put on the hand and between the eyes and will be told to the children.